Hi, my name is Carolina and this is Carolina's Closet. I am going on a trip in three days and it's a four or five day-ish trip and I want to create all the clothing that I'm taking with me. Um, and this is the video. <laughs> this is what we're doing. So right now I have, oh my God, Okay, so right now I have a very brief idea of what I want to create. Actually, I, I don't. I just, I have a mood board. So this is a vibe that we're going for, you know, very flowy, very beachy. I'm going to the beach, by the way. Basically, I think I want to make shorts that I can wear like every day to go to like the city and maybe to the beach. I kind of want to make some pants, like easy pants. Um, I want to make a shirt. <laughs> I want to make a lot of things, okay? And I kind of also want to make bikinis. <laughs> I want to, because I have bikini yarn. I can knit bikinis. I kind of want to do that. I kind of need a beach cover-up on top of my um, shirt. Maybe one dress, like a party dress. Not party dress, but like a day dress. Like a beach day dress. And yeah like one or two kind of like more party like flowy glittery outfit um that i can wear to the parties i thought of kind of sitting down and maybe kind of sketching the things that i want to do um but i don't know i just lose a lot of time doing that because i'm a very when it comes to making clothes i kind of always plan a lot and then i just don't have time to make my things so um I am here in this um, place. This is a lot of fabric that I have. Some of it is even um, washed because I have plans and I never make the things that I wanna. Ah! Um, I, th I think I wanna source through these kind of pile of fabric that I have here. So these two are kind of like um, knits that you can wear to the water. So this could be the linings for my bikinis if I do end up doing them. And then I have some fabric laying around. So I have this and this was my idea like for the first thing I have a lot of this fabric it's like a linen so it's very kind of feels good and it's very breezy for the hot weather and I wanted to make my shorts short combo with this um, so I have that so this is a fabric that I bought as a trim you know when they end the roll and they have just a little bit left it's not too little I think I can make a dress with this, like a summer dress, just, it's a jersey, so it's stretchy. I can make something very fast, I think, um, that just kind of has this beautiful print. I have this as well. It's also very stretchy, because I was thinking with the linen, I don't want to put elastic. I kind of want to make like a proper short with like a zipper. That might take a while, but... It's gonna be worth it because I'm gonna have I'm gonna have it to wear every so often. I don't have that many shorts. I need more shorts. But this is a very stretchy fabric. This is actually a fabric that I got from like industrial waste. I used to like participate in contests where they give you industrial waste. They give you the trash. And sometimes they have like big pieces like this. And I got this once, and I it's already washed. And I think it's a decent size that I could make a shorts top slash skirt top matching set is very stretchy so i have that so that's already a lot um that i probably won't get through but let me just see if i have more <laughs> basically all of that that i showed you and then i have some white trims this is all for my time like looking for industrial trash so these are all trims and they're pretty good quality they're not big so i think i can make like mini tops of them like little tops and then that i didn't show you i have this um, yellow, I think it's a linen, it's just also industrial waste, like you can see when they have like little like random cuts like this, and I could maybe if I have a good, I make a good shirt pattern for this striped one, I can use it in that one as well, I cut another shirt, I'm a big, I'm very big on overachieving by the way, like I'm probably not going to make everything, because this is a lot, but like anyway, I have like two and a half, I have three days, pretty much. And then I have this fabric, I have a lot of it. I think I bought it to make like a big skirt. Oh, I have zipper. I think I could use this in my shorts. I just found it. I probably was going to use it with this one, but 
I can make pants with this one. And yeah, this is all the fabric. And then I have a great deal of yarn back there. Um, that if I have time, I can make some like easy tops or like crochet or knit something. Um, knit, when I say knit, I can knit really fast in my knitting machine, by the way. And I want to knit my bikinis. I have these yarns. They are like proper for water. Um, so I kind of want to delve into making a few bikinis for myself. Try at least, at least one. I have these in orange. I have another shade of orange from like a different lot. And then I have a pink, a blue. I have a little bit of yellow left over and I have a black left over as well. But the black has tangled. I probably just waste hours untangling untangling it so I might not wear the black one I don't really like black anyway so that is that that is all I have I'll sit down and I think I'll just like come up with like a shorts pattern for me to make start with this one because this is like my main goal for today do the matching set for this fabric okay so here I'm just measuring myself to hopefully make Cody that fit me well and yes I do this every single time starting a new project because I write this in like a loose piece of paper and I always lose it. But anyway, here I am just like using way too much time to create like a proper pattern for my shorts and my shirt. It just took me way too long. Okay, so this is me just joining all the pieces, taping them, and then cutting them out. And it took me way too long. Yeah, so much for, like, not creating the pattern straight on paper, like, pattern paper. But anyway, at least I'm, like, gathering skills. Maybe one day I can, like, sell printable patterns online. I don't know. Let's be real. If I was to sell patterns, I'd probably do just, like, crochet patterns or knitting patterns. Because that's what I'm actually decent at. This is me um, cutting the fabric. And, yes, I should have ironed it, but I didn't. And... Before there, I was kind of going to do a little tumble on top of the fabric, on top of the scissors for some reason, but I didn't. <laughs> so yeah, this is me just like cutting all the fabric and I traced all of the patterns with a erasable pen. So yeah. Okay, hey, so I cut. This took me way too long. I shouldn't have wasted all this time with, not wasted, because... I think it's going to look good, but like, I used too much of the time that I have and I don't have much to work on this. I cut everything and I have quite a bit of fabric left. Um, this, I need to do the waistband for the shorts. And then I might do like a little bralette thing, if I can, with this. So I have like a full on matching set, but I'm not focusing on that. I'm focusing on these. So first of all, I have to YouTube tutorial how to attach the zipper and attach the pockets because I cut everything for that but I just don't really know I don't really know how to do that like I know I always know but I never know you know what I mean and then I might do the color thing for the shirt and I have to leave but I I really need to finish this matching set today before I go to sleep so that's what I'm trying to do so once I have this side pinned I'm gonna do the same thing on this side so here's my other facing I somehow lost the foot like of my machine because I have my machine and I have my overlocker over there but I do not know where the the parts that go in the power like the foot where you, you make them work I don't know where they are found it it was over there, there in like hidden way back there but it was there, and now I have it. I managed to make both my machines work, but now I have to leave. And when I'm back, I'm going to do all of the things that I said I'm going to do, but I, I don't have time now. Okay, so here I'm doing the pockets and the zipper. Basically for the pockets you have three pieces the shorts the pocket and the lining of the pocket First you have to attach the lining to the shorts and then you attach the pocket to the lining on the bottom And then you finish by sewing all of those in on the top and on the sides And then you do the zipper to join both 
front panels and then you have to finish the crotch and the back side do the side seams and then the in seams i will have linked down below a video of how to attach the zipper that i followed and i'm sorry that these are like very bad explanations it's just that this video is way too long for me to do a tutorial in every single thing that i'm creating here so i apologize hi Like, see, it's fine. I have to fix something here on the zipper. I put the zipper, I put the pockets. I made them too small, like too, there, it, there isn't space for too much. But anyway, this is it. I'm just going to like fold over here and do a waistband. See, like it's a little too, like it's not tight that it's uncomfortable. Like I can sit in it, it's fine. But I should have made it a little bit bigger. I did do a French seam, so that might be why it got a little bit of the sizing because like i did the french scene but anyway and then i'm going to do the shirt and i'm late i should have to, i wanted to finish this yesterday and i did it so i'm very late on my own schedule but yeah today i want to like go ahead and do other things with these ones i at least want to do like pants with these and a dress with this and i said that i was going to make a shirt with this one but i actually want to make some shorts like elastic shorts so let's see if i can do that probably not but let's hope i can like root for me here okay let's do this they truly just said i was wasting too much time and here i am doing an anatomically correct waistband for my shorts on what i thought was interfacing but turns out it isn't i also sewed the shoulder seams for my uh, shirt because i need uh, interfacing for the collar and then i realized what i thought was interfacing wasn't i also was trying to iron out the ink of the pen that i have been using to trace everything and it works out so i was really happy for that so I don't have white interfacing and for some reason I'm obsessed with doing this shorts in the best way that I can, losing all the time that I have to make a full wardrobe for my trip. But because I don't have white interfacing, I only have black and it's just too light of a fabric, like too see-through for me to use black interfacing. I'm going to buy interfacing and I'm going to make use of my trip and also get elastic for my shorts or pants, maybe both, probably not, that I want to create but way more than just my interfacing a supply shop haul yay the interfacing i got the very flimsy like stretchy one it's not meant for this garment that i'm doing but now i have a lot of it and i usually do stretchy stuff so it's better to have this one i kind of bought fabric do i need more fabric no does it shed glitter yes it does but it's a nice like it's a nice for like costumey thingies that I kind of want to do. Try it. I got some heart beads. And then um, this trim that I think is really cute. And I might use it with that pink fabric if I end up doing something with that. I bought this very thin um, crochet hook that is, if I get to like knit some things, I can use this to um, put beads on my neck. Do I have time for that? No, but that's another story. And then I have elastics. I got two different kinds. And then I bought more yarn. I'm sorry, but I this is just who I am. When I went to buy the like bikini yarn that I bought, I didn't, they didn't have the white and now they had it so i get i got white and i got red so this is my haul right here i'm just finishing the waistband for the shorts as it started raining a lot I really hope the power doesn't go off. The light has me flickering because it's raining so much. If the power goes out, I might just knit because my, the knitting machine doesn't require power. Anyway. Right here, I'm just working on the color of the shirt and I will reference a video down in the description as well because it's kind of complicated to explain just like really briefly like this. Great. Now I'll attach the armhole, armholes? I will attach the sleeves, close the sides, do the hem, and then 
at the end attach the buttons here and I have to attach a button to the shorts and I'll be done and I gave up on my gym for today I have a lot of buttons here and I need to choose one to attach because I need to put a button on the shorts obviously here are my shorts I have to cut the threads here are my shorts and I did do a little thing here because I like the length when I like tried it on so I didn't really want to lose too much length doing the um, the hem so I attached another piece of fabric here just to make it like this and I think it's cute and I need to put a button here obviously so I have this and I need to like so I think like I have things like this it's kind of straightforward like it matches the color I think I think I'm gonna go with this and I need the button to do the buttonhole and I'm gonna do that and after that I already am going to tell you I want to go for this one here and I want to do a dress I'll think about it and I will show you what I end up doing and I hopefully want to do at least this but I I want to do a lot more so let's see what I can do but first button this is where the buttonhole application <laughs> failed and I had to pluck this insane amount of thread from my machine and it just wouldn't get out like it took me so long but it's, it was quite satisfying when it got it out like okay guys I kind of hate it <laughs> I mean I'm gonna wear it but I yeah like I really meant to do this oversized and for some reason I didn't I don't know where I just became stupid and just like forgot how to measure things looks like pajamas but i'm going to wear them like separate i think and i'm not going to put buttons here because i'm just lazy and i want to do other things so let's do dress next was the dress and because the past few days i had been like over planning and pattern making that um little matching set and it turned out like very underwhelming i just winked it and i had this like one sixth circle skirt pattern that i used to kind of roughly do a cir gigantic circle skirt with the fabric but it was bigger than the pattern i just kind of used it for reference and then i hemmed it with a double needle in the normal sewing machine for stretchy fabrics that's the best way i think of hemming and that took ages because like way too much fabric but anyway after i hemmed everything i just started draping it on my body and finding the shape that i liked for this dress that i wanted to do and I got the like bits of fabric that were left from me cutting the skirt and I draped them um, on my body to find the kind of shape that I wanted. And now for like the actual making of this dress, I just find it very hard to explain because I was really tired and I just kind of did it and it worked really well. I think what I did, so I cut four pieces of like that bust cup shape um because i was able to cut four of them so two were the lining two were the actual pieces and i think i sandwiched them within the skirt and then i attached the back i cut a back a band for the back just for more structure and to be like well cinched on my waist and I, I i just don't really know how i did everything because everything turned out so well done and the only visible stitch from the inside is the stitch from the waistband to the skirt um, as you might be able to see here so i would have to like look back into it to do like a tutorial on this dress but they're not really good i am so pleased with it like that's how i should do things like not plan because the other one i did a pattern i printed a pattern like and it just didn't work out the way that i wanted and this i had no plans like, look at this. Yeah, don't mind my hair. But like, look at it. The only thing, I'm going to put like a strap here and it will be like a little bit more like gathered over here in the top like this. But like overall, I am so pleased with it. Okay, so this is next morning and the last day of making things for a trip. And honestly, I just felt really frustrated, mostly because there were so many things that I wanted to do and I wasn't going to be able to do like even half of it. Also, I wanted this last day to be a fully knitting day, but because knit and crochet can technically be done like by hand on the go, I just decided to keep sewing because you need the machine and I wouldn't take the machine, obviously. And I, I don't know, I just feel, I just felt really unaccomplished for this project 
also like I woke up really early to work on these um projects but I ended up like scrolling on Instagram before I had to run some errands so I didn't even have that much time anymore and yeah I was just kind of feeling unmotivated like I lost too much time with the things that I did because they didn't turn out perfect and sewing is like so messy just, there's yarn just like thread and and pieces of fabric everywhere I'm used to knitting that doesn't make that much mess and the vibe was not here so I apologize for the lack of enthusiasm in this last day also I'm wearing this like not at all flattering outfit to motivate me to go to the gym later in the day which I did do furthermore you can also see here I'm trying to fix my overlocker because um the past night before I stopped doing everything I just needed to do two straps for the dress and I didn't even manage to finish that because I just I don't know what happened I took like half an hour to turn one of the straps that I made inside out and then when I went to do the second one all the machines stopped working I think they were tired as well because like the overlocker uh, tangled all the threads the normal machine tangled all the threads so nothing was working and I was really tired so yeah that also happened so this is me trying to fix the overlocker and I did actually manage to turn the second strap inside out really easily with the thread technique where you have one thread go within the sewing of the strap and then you just kind of pull it inside out really easily and that was at least a little bit better you know a good starting of the day based on like the overall vibe it was a, a success for me <laughs> right now but yeah right after that success I went straight into making the pants for the pants I used a short pattern um and I traced like two centimeters bigger all around and I straightened the curve that goes from the hip to the waist and just made it straight so that um, the waistline would be the size of my hip because I was going to put an elastic in a pants. I also obviously made the length um, long to make it a pant. Yeah, I also cut four pieces for pockets and I started assembling. So basically, um, I... Basically, I positioned the pockets aligned to each other and I sewed them in and then I uh, matched front and back, front and back, right sides together for each leg and I sewed around them, um, around the pockets. I checked to see if it all worked with the pocket and the length and everything, the crotch and everything. It worked, so then you just have to do the crotch seams, the front and the back, like front and front, back and back and then, and then side seams, you know, front and back, front and back and then do the inseam all at once. For like overall stitching here, I did do everything on the sewing machine and then I went and reinforced all the seams in an overlocker instead of overlocking all the pieces first, which I don't know why I did it like that. I think I just wasn't functioning right, but yeah, that's what I did. And for the waistband, I cut a piece of fabric that the height is two times the elastic plus seam allowance and the width is the width of the hip, which is the width of the circumference of the pants. And then I sewed the waistband in the pants, put the elastic in, um, shut everything, and I did some stitches on top of the elastic so it wouldn't turn on itself because that can happen with big elastics. And that's kind of it. This is a very fun and easy pants. Let me know if you want a better tutorial because I would do it. Also, don't forget to hem the pants on the bottom. I forgot to say that. Okay, so first, sadly, the last garment. I decided to do a matching top for the pants because I had a little bit of leftover fabric. Originally, I wanted to do something like this and I had enough fabric so I went ahead and I cut this like almost like a triangle but with not a pointy side so maybe like a trapezoid, whatever. I crocheted a night cord as well but it was really hard to see in this footage so I'll leave a link below on the tutorial on the night cord. With, I did it with these um, yarns that I had that matched the color of the pants so i made this and then this i ironed it like this because i was going to put these here like and fold it over like this and like do something like this and make that top from the pinterest photo but i don't know if i like this too much um so i'm going to do something different what i want to do is um i wanted to use this as a strap like to tie on the back and then with these, I have this and it goes around my body. So I want to divide it, um, not in half, but I want to make like a center like thing. And I will attach these two things like this to the front bit. And then I'll cut the back one to put an elastic. Um, and I, I'm going to do that. Okay, I think I explained the reason really well, but let's go. So I 
did first of all I overstitched the sides of those like triangle looking things because they were already ironed and then I did like the long uh, gathering stitches on the bottom on the like the longest length of stitch and I gathered them to the like smaller rectangular piece that was going to go on the front of my torso and then I had a bigger size of like rectangular thing that was going to like complete the the torso the circular part of <laughs> I'm so bad at explaining but I put an elastic on the back side of the band um that was going to go under the boob and I finished it by putting this like I tried to like make every all that big piece fit into like this small little piece of fabric so that um the sizing of the top of the top would be closer to the sizing of the eye cord that I did in the crochet and that was just like so hard it was so tough on my machine I didn't properly film it because I was so stressed and I actually snagged a little bit of the fabric um for the like th the strap thing but I just left it like that because I wasn't going to bother but yeah I, I have like the visual explanation I hope you can understand it but I don't know if this is the best way of doing it anyway Yes, I'm using the front face camera. I never hated something so much. Like, and I don't know how I didn't break a needle. Lovely. At least it looks decent. I mean, this is kind of weird, but it's a style, I guess. And it's quite comfortable. It's actually a little loose, but it's, you know, it holds, so it's fine. I kind of really want to make like a pink with the pink fabric that I bought yesterday. A little skirt with like a little something. Oh, I really wanted to knit. I'm like urging to knit. I, I really wanted to knit, but I'm not going to. Because like by the time I clean all of this and like set up the machine and think about something, I didn't make any patterns. Like I have a pattern for like bikini bottoms, but it's for another yarn. I am not going to do that. I wanted to make so much fun. <laughs> just using the pattern that i had to make the shorts and because this was a stretchy fabric that was like the perfect pattern for it but anyway i didn't even use it okay basically i wanted to do this to like kind of wear i wanted to make something with this first of all they don't even they don't even match but i was going to make something like a little skirt um it's like a circle skirt maybe oh this is shedding glitter um, and like a, a sheer top or something, so it's very stretchy. Um, but I, I'm tired and I'm going to drive a lot tomorrow. I'm going to the gym right now. I am done. Basically, that is the premise of like what I have to say right now. So yeah, this is the end of the sewing DIYs. I wanted to have finished this by yesterday so that today I could knit a little bit on my knitting machine. So I love doing that. It's the thing that I love the most, but I didn't do that. Okay, so outfits in the wild. So first I used my shorts and because I just thought they were too tight on me, I used them like open like this in what I thought was stylish. It wasn't. But anyway, I used it like that for the first time and actually was able to close it just fine. And first I used it with this like shirt on top of it so it would like hide the zipper, but it wasn't that bad. So I just wore it normally with just a bikini and I wore it everywhere. Like every time that we went to the city or to the beach, I wore those shorts. And this is me wearing the top that I made last with just this like skirt. It's actually like a gym skirt, but I just use it out because it's pretty. This is me wearing the shorts again on another day. And yeah. And then I wore the pants to go to the second day of the party. So the first day of the party, I just wore some outfit that I took with me. But for the second day, I used the pants that I made. And I paired it with this cute crochet top that my mom actually made for me. And the jewelry and the glasses belong to my friend. Um, but yeah, I really like this outfit. And this is me just heading home, actually, with the pants um, because they're really comfortable. And I just used like this shirt with it. I, I was just going to drive, so it, it didn't matter. And you might be able to notice that I did not wear my pretty, pretty, pretty dress that I made. 
um, and that was really sad, we were going to go out um, on the last day, and we were going to go to a restaurant, but um, my friend got sick, and I fell, and I just got hurt, like I scraped my knee, so I just, we didn't vibe, we weren't in the vibe of going out, so I just didn't wear it, but this is me trying it on for you guys to see, and obviously I wouldn't wear it with this, like gigantic boots, boots on the trip, because I didn't take them to the trip, anyway, this is me wearing the shirt that I also didn't wear on the trip because it was really hot there for this kind of shirt so I just wore it one day to like just go go and wear it but yeah it's actually really good I let I wore it tight actually instead of um loose like that but yeah this this is the review I hope you liked it I'm just here to say goodbye thank you so much for watching this video um I hope you enjoyed it I hope it was useful if you need some inspiration if you like sewing I hope it was at least entertaining um and you had fun here i would ask kindly if you can please subscribe and give a like to the video if you did if you disliked it i guess give a dislike but i always prefer a like um do comment below whatever you thought about during the video if um there was a particular particular design you liked or disliked if it was frustrating to you as well to listen me to me talking about all of the things that i wanted to do in three days as if it was possible if you're someone who doesn't sew or knit um did you actually believe i could do those things and if you're <laughs> if you're someone who sews how frustrated were you listening to me blab about all of the expectations, all, all the things that I wanted to do and I would obviously not be able to. Anyway, moral of this video is sewing takes long, knitting takes longer, crocheting takes even longer. It's hard to do all of those and if you have expectations to create a whole wardrobe in three days, you probably won't unless you plan a lot before and make all of your patterns and have all of your supplies ready to go on an assembly, just ready to be made. Um, but that wasn't my case, and it probably isn't yours. Anyway, this is it, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to follow me on my social media, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, it's all at Carolina's Closet, um, and subscribe to this channel. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one very, very soon, hopefully, and that is it, goodbye.